Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I want to show how I run chat application locally. So my chat application requires MongoDB and it requires Redis. Redis is used to create sessions and MongoDB is used to store all the data, rooms, chats, users. So the easiest way I found to run MongoDB and Redis locally is by using a Docker container. And we need two Docker containers, one for Redis, one for MongoDB. Start both containers and run them together, I use Docker Compose. It's a tool that comes with Docker and it defines all the services that I need. The cool thing about this application is that I just need the containers, they don't depend on each other, and I'm using them from outside. So for example, to create Redis, I'm using Redis Alpine, which is lightweight version of Redis. I'm giving it the name internally, and I'm exposing the default port where Redis usually starts, 6379, into the outside world. So when I start this container, I can access Redis uh, from my host computer. And this is how my application accesses the Redis. In addition to Redis, I start MongoDB container. Same thing, I'm exposing the standard port where Mongo usually runs, 27017. And in this case, I have to tell Mongo uh, container what to use as the password and username. So just provide two environment variables. Now once these variables are running, let's start Docker. Okay, it's uh, starting as you can see on the top. I'm gonna show my as file. So I use um, a lot of environment variables to pass secrets and URLs. And in this case, this project is only running locally, so this nothing is secret. So these are the variables I will inject into the environment when I start the app and when I start Cypress. Because Cypress in this application also accesses the MongoDB, so it needs the URL. Uh, so this uh, session secret is used by Redis to create sessions. And this is the URL for Mongo to connect. Now, because it's running locally, and the port is exposed, we are using the local host 2707 that runs in the dark container. And we connect as the admin user with the username and the password, and that's what I passed to the Mongo when I started it. So let's start Docker, Compose, Up, and I can start in the background, so it's not blocking. Because once it's running, I don't have to do anything. It just runs there. I can see how it's running using Docker PS, so I can see both containers, okay? And I can see the ports that they listen to on the host computer. Okay, now I have to run my application using this environment variables under the name chat, okay? So I'll use my global install tool as a uh, chat.io and just do npm start, okay? And notice this is where it is. It was successfully connected and Manga probably runs well. And when I run Cypress, I also have to do the same thing because uh, in order to connect to the MongoDB, it needs this URL. So I'll say Cypress, and I'll just run one of the specs that connects to the database. For example, rooms. Okay, perfect. So before each room, it actually clears all the rooms by connecting to the uh, MongoDB and clearing it. So you see it runs task clear rooms. I can see the output, right, clear rooms, where it goes to the MongoDB and connects and does it. So this is local, great. Uh, I like how it runs, it allows me to do everything I need to. Uh, what about CI? So in this repository, I have GitHub Actions, and here's the coolest thing ever. All we need to do, check out the source code that brings the Docker Compose file and all our files, but we haven't installed anything. But in order for us to run the Docker Compose, we just need the Docker Compose. It will read Docker Compose YAML file and start both containers. Now, once the containers start, while we're even starting, I'm using Cypress GitHub Action to install Cypress, install Node util NPM utilities on install Node modules, start the application, wait for it to respond, and then I'm recording it on Cypress dashboard. And to record, I need to pass a secret as environment variable, but we also need to pass secrets, right, uh, that we need to connect to the database. 
Now, in our case, the Docker Compose so, you know, has both environment variables for MongoDB, so we have to pass the same URL as we have locally to Cypress, and that's it. And uh, this variable is used by the um, node process itself, for application itself, right, for the ready session. And this is used both by the application and by Cypress. Now, we could put these uh, values as secrets in our GitHub uh, repository. It doesn't really matter because we're testing locally. We're not connecting anywhere. It's not production code. So let's see how this works. So I'll create an empty commit. Use Docker Compose. Okay. And I'll push the code. Now let's go to the repository. This is the repository github.com slash bachmuser slash chat.io. And I can see that it's running. Let's go to the GitHub Actions. It's setting up the job. Okay, the Docker Compose is starting. You can see that it's pulling the images, Redis and Mongo. Started both images. So the whole thing to start the Docker Compose and GitHub took 17 seconds, which is very, very quick in my book. Now the Cypress is running. It uses the cached version of node modules and Cypress binary. And now it's running. And notice that everything is fine. It can access the Docker Compose containers that were spawned in the previous step. 